Well, hello there everybody and welcome back to episode 3 of the Spigot Coding series. In this episode we're going to create our first event listener and we're going to make a basic function of a new join and leave message in chat. Um, this is actually my second time recording this video, so yeah, let's hope everything works this time. Alright, let's get right to it. The first thing we want to do is we actually want to create a new package called listener in our main package and in here we want to create a new class called let's call it player connection listener all right to begin with the first step is pretty similar to the commands what we want to do first is implement a listener here you have to be careful to actually implement the org.bucket.event listener all right first thing that we want to do which is really really important we first want to write at event handler. This is something a lot of people will probably forget about and then ask themselves, hey, why are my events not working? I coded everything right. You need to put this in front of your method, otherwise it will not recognize it as an event. So after running at event handler, we can declare our method by typing public void and the name you can type anything you want. I'm just gonna type it, uh, call it on player join. You could call this whatever you want though. The thing that's important though is right here in the brackets. Here we want to add a player join event. And this you can also call it what you want. People call it event, but I like to call it just E. Alright, we can copy paste this down by pressing Ctrl D in IntelliJ. And we just want to rename this to on player quit with a player quit event instead of a player join event. Alright, so first thing we want to do, we want to like think of the message that we want to write on join. Let's say we want to write it like this. This is something I often do when I code minigames. This is just a really nice way. We, I want to do a plus with a bracket right here. And then the player name. And then behind that, I usually do in brackets the current amount slash the max amount of players. So this is the layout we want our join message to have. So let's actually get coding it. The first thing we want to do, we want to type e dot set join message, and then we start off with the brackets and the plus. The brackets I usually want to make a light gray, and then the plus inside I want to make it green, but also want to make it bold. So paragraph A for green, paragraph L for bold the plus and then paragraph 7 to make it light gray again. After this, we put a space and go out of our quotations. And first of all, we want to declare our player. So let's quickly do this by typing player p equals e the, uh, the get player. And then we can simply type p dot get name. Let's also make this in a nice blue by using paragraph 9. And yeah, this would already work. This would just display uh, like this. This is totally fine already, but let's actually add the extra aspect of showing how many players are online from the max player account. We do this by simply typing another space and then we again two brackets, which I'm going to make light gray. Let's actually make it first like this. Um, the play account I want to type in a light blue, so let's do this by typing paragraph B and then get out of here, type the bucket dot get online players. This doesn't return a number, this returns a list of every single player on the server. So what we want to do here is type dot size behind it. Then we want to add a white slash and again a light blue the bucket dot get max players and finish it with a light gray bracket for a bit more visual clarity let's put this down here by a row so we have the plus and the player and then here the um, the player count display then we can basically copy paste all of this down here to the player quit event with the only minor exceptions we have to make is on set join message we have to change this to set quit message and instead of a green plus, I want to have a dark red, paragraph 4, minus. 
this, let's say I'm the only person on the server and I quit, so it should be zero players on the server, but this will still output a one. So what we have to do here, we have to put this in brackets so we can modify it and then we type a minus one. So it subtracts the current player from the amount of players on the server currently. So yeah, these are all the events done already and this would already work. We just have to actually import the event now. So for this we go into the main class and below our get command we type a plugin manager pm equals to the bucket dot get plugin manager. The plugin manager is basically just for yeah registering events, calling entire events. Um, we will also get back to the call event in a future episode where we actually create our own event. You can disable plugins, add permissions, enable pr plugins, and all that stuff. But mostly we just use it, or I just use it for registering events and calling events. So let's actually register our event by typing register events and then our new player connection listener and the plugin being this. We can type this here because our main class is the class that actually extends the Java plugin. So if we would have if we would register our events in another class, we would have to first of all um, declare our instance here and then on the enable instance it was this and then you would have to type your main class dot instance on yeah we're just going to do it simply by just registering everything in the main class so yeah let's actually export this and put it on our server real quick so drag and drop and now if i type reload confirm you see i already tested it right here earlier so if i leave now and update my console you can see minus my name and the actual player account and now if i join the server again you will also see that we actually have the message in chat so to show that this is not another thing from the episode i recorded earlier i'm just going to simply go ahead and change the colors from a nice blue to let's say a darker green and a brighter le uh, red, darker green being paragraph 2 and a brighter red being paragraph C. So let me export and reload again. So reload confirm. If I were to leave now, you can see it's displaying in the nicer red. And if I join now, it also displays in the darker green in chat. So yeah, that's everything for episode 3. I hope you learned something new today. In the next episode, which is going to be episode 3.1, so dropping on Tuesday. We are going to give the players who join the server for the first time a starter kit and also print out a special message for them that they joined the server for the first time. So yeah, that's everything for this episode. If you want to support me, my Patreon is linked in the description. If you consider supporting me, you will also get some small and nice benefits. You are able to ask me anything about coding and I would be gladly and happily give you some advice if needed. But yeah, that's everything from me from this episode. I hope to see you on Tuesday again, and until then, I hope you have a nice rest of your day. See everyone!